What is up, Peter? It's following TCG, and I'm talking you back to another YouTube video. And of course, we have some Pokemon TCG online gameplay for you today, and we're going to be playing our own unique lists as always. This time, we are going to be playing Metagross Ultra Necrozma. This is something that I think a lot of people have thought about before, um, primarily playing Ultra Necrozma as a tech in a Metagross deck, but we're going to go all out and we're going to treat this like it's V-Caray. We're going to be playing only a 3-3 three, three line of Beldum and Metagross, no Metang, um, and we're going to just rely on the Rare Candy to get out our Metagrosses and start accelerating energies to our Ultra Necrozmas, and our Ultra Necrozma will be our primary attacker. We play uh, 4 Steel and I believe 6 Psychic Energy, so Psychic Energy is the primary energy there. We also play a tech of Stack Attacker GX to just actually add an extra bit of tankiness to our Ultra Necrozmas, and it can also act as a backup attacker with it being a Steel type, so it's also a pretty neat tech Pokemon there. Unfortunately, we're starting it, which is not good whatsoever um but with that said we should be fine considering we can um you know ultra pull away our metal energy and just start bringing it back into play with metagross the more metagross we get out the better obviously we don't want to just have the one we want to at least have two because that means every time we could be hitting 180 choice band 210 with our ultra necrosmas if we have two in play got my cup of coffee feeling good so we're playing malamar which is also a similar concept to what we've got a much more consistent one should i say at the very least um so i'm assuming they're going to get things going quite fast usually this deck plays a ton of um you know uh, pokemon search and stuff like that you've got like usually it plays like four mysterious treasure four ultra ball acro bikes like it just has a lot of discard options which makes it set up real quick um but it seems like they've kind of just whiffed on um well, I say that, but they've got two energy in discard and two NK down. What more can you ask for, right? We're going to have to go for the Kui just for the sake of drawing into things. Like, this many Metagross at the start is just way, way too much. Okay, uh, let's sling. So we're going to get the energy in the discard pile, I think. Um, yeah, let's get the energy, and then we'll drop the Titan Lies that we can lay lay for something next turn. Um, and I think we're going to have to just start attacking with the Stack Attacker. Um unfortunately so we're just going to get another beldum and leave it there and then next time you might have to lay lay for like a lily for three which doesn't feel good but or maybe a cynthia because we just want to get these metagross out into play and as soon as we get these metagross out um the deck would just start you know rolling on its own we do play two copies of max potion um to heal up any pokemon that is damaged because of course we can accelerate everything we discard from um, the meta, uh, sorry, with the Metagross from our discard pile to the active once we use our Max Potion, so that's fine. So let's have a playing a, there's, there's a Shining Lugia there, which usually it would be a Shrine deck um, if it was Shining Lugia, but considering they're playing their own GXs, I doubt we're against a Shrine deck, so I don't know what's going on there, to be honest. So we are going to grab the Cynthia. Lillian for two just doesn't feel right. Like, the odds of hitting a Rare Candy is just not good. Um, now, this is also not very good. Do we bench the option of Cosmo now? That doesn't feel right. Um, what I'll do is I'll bench the Mimikyu, I think. And uh, if things, again, don't go too well next turn, um, we can use the Filch, or if they find a way to knock us out somehow, we can use Mimikyu's Copycat um, next turn. So that should be fine. Yeah, so our, our main techs are... So our two techs, sorry, a Stack Attacker and Mimikyu. And the rest is just, uh, as I said, the free free line. I'll show you the list afterwards. Um, and then there's free option of Cosmos and, of course, the two Tapu Lele, just to help with the consistency here. Uh, so they've got a beast energy. So what are they doing? Hey, they got the full art Guzma. I'm still working on the full art Guzma. <laughs> Today's the last day. I wonder what's going to be on the next, um, on the ladder next. I reckon uh, another streamer I watch called Nate, uh, Raven also reckoned the same thing as well. Um, that would be expanded. Uh, okay, rare candy, but nothing to show for it, which is just painful. We're not going to bench the Ultra Necrozma because we want to save that spot for a Lele if we so need it. Um, but we are just... This is Whiff Town right here. This is just not good. Um, I honestly don't know what to do right now. Um, I might just load one Psychic onto the Stack Attacker and just roll from there. Maybe I put an Oranguru in this list. I mean, we don't have any draw abilities here but we just have a ton of we have like a ton of uh draw support i think i have like four tate and lizers four cynthia's like two lilies and and like two kukui's or one kukui so like we have a quite thick supporter line um nonetheless 
we are absolutely whiffing right now. All right, so there's the Agent Wing for 110. They will knock us out next turn, but we can respond with the Mimikyu. All right, let's just start getting stuff down here. I don't, I'm not fond of dropping a choice ban on this active, but it's not like we have a choice. So I'm going to do, I'm going to Lily now. Hopefully we get something. So we do get a max potion, which could just help us last a little bit at the very least. I think that's the best way to, the best way to do it, unfortunately. We're just not seeing our Metagross coming through. This is, unfortunately, but I, uh, do I bench that? I don't like the idea of benching right now. But I want to get an energy on it at the same time. I'm just not too sure. Uh, we're just going to pass. Uh, leave it at that. I don't want to bench that in the Cosmo because I just really want to make sure that we're consistent. And if we hit a Lele, that's, that spot is saved particularly for a Lele. Right, so we've bought another turn. Um, with that max potion, do we get anything great? We just got another Ultra Necrozma. Okay, so considering the Sack Attack is knocked out next turn, we're going to bench the Ultra Necrozma and attach the energy to Necrozma. We could attach it to Mimikyu in case things don't go too well, and I think that's just the more consistent way to go. <clears throat> so we will only hit, unfortunately, that Shannon Lugia 460 damage, which is just not fantastic in my opinion, but hey, what can you do? Um... So we are really just on the back foot right now. Stack Attack are just tanking as expected. <laughs> just sitting up there going like, what do you want me to do? I'm just going to sit here. I can't do anything. Um, and we haven't even been drawing into many steel. We've only got the one steel in a discard. The rest we've been drawing into is Psychic. So you can see how reliant this list, I guess, is on getting Metagross out. But it seems quite sketchy, if I'm being honest. Bear in mind, I just built this list, like, right now. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, what should I make a video on today? Looking through my, my collection, I was like, hmm, Metagross Ultra Cosmos seems fun. Uh, and now I'm sitting here going, yeah, it's fun if you get it going. <laughs> you need to get it going first. Um, I might take a break from Stage 2 decks soon. I've been playing a ton of Stage 2 decks recently. And although there's so many Stage 2 decks that have potential... Just by the mere fact of them being stage 2 makes it just a bit tough. Now, I know there is, of course, the Metagross Solgaleo, which is a powerhouse of a deck. And there is a very consistent version. But I want to make um, videos on decks that aren't getting um, too much, you know, light of day. Um, and just are unique in themselves. You know, I may make some videos in the future where I use other people's lists and I'll give them a shout out on that list. Whether it's someone I follow on Twitter or, you know, of course, a an actual professional player. You know, I, I wouldn't mind doing that um, in the future. Oh, we are just... This is just disgusting. I'm just not... This is not fun. All right, we're just going to go for a good old copycat for 60. All they need to do is attach an energy and they've got us knocked out. Which is just so rough. Like, we're going down in prizes so quickly. Um, and Algorithm GX just seems really bad right now just because of their board state just being so strong um using an attack leaving us in the open is just not good although we could if we get a rare candy I haven't seen anyone since i got it um a couple hands ago <laughs> um i guess we could outgrow them and grab a max potion with it so that way we don't have to worry about the damage that we're taking but it's just leaving ourselves in the open to the likes of an Ultra Necrozma. I've, oh, I love the golden Ultra Necrozma. Although, I'll be honest, it does look very similar to the full art. It's a similar color scheme. Um, I'm wondering what the uh, the Rainbow Rare... If, Rainbow Rare? The, the shiny. I don't. I haven't even seen a shiny Ultra Necrozma. So, I don't know what it looks like. But I think it would be really cool. Personally, this is my favorite art to date. Although, the promo looks pretty dope. Like, the promo Ultra Necrozma looks really good. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is a deck I might commit myself to. It has one shot potential. It has two shot potential. It has a tank. It can tank uh, with the likes of Max Potion. It seems like a good concept. Um, just fine tuning it might be the way to go. We're going to have to promote this option of Crosma here and just cross our fingers um, and just hope that we draw at least a rare candy. Oh, okay. Do you know what? I will take that. Um, I'll drop another Ultra Necrozma, and we're just going to go for the Lele and Cynthia yet again. Um, the fact that we didn't get a fan club isn't... Turn 1 isn't... To be fair, we did get our Beldums out, so that doesn't really make a difference. Field Blow is kind of pointless right now. Field Blow is in this deck just to help with Shrine. Um, so we're getting the Rare Candies, but we're just not getting the other Pokemon. <laughs> it's either we get the Metagross, 
without the rare candy or we get the rare candy without the metagross. It's like one or the other. Which one is your pick? <laughs> Oh, this is just horrible. Maybe it would have been a play to Ultra Ball one of those Metagross away so we could Rescue Stretch into um, a Metagross. That seems like that would have been the play, but this is just horrible. What we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna concede this game and give it to them. Um, and maybe I would just throw a Metang in this list and we'll jump into another game. That just seems better. Uh, but what would I drop out for this here? Maybe. I don't like cutting off draw support it just doesn't seem good enough um maybe a rescue stretch playing two might be a bit too much but at the same time like we need to make sure our metagrosses are fine okay do you know what? we'll go to one rescue stretcher and we'll add one meta um just so we can you know if we if we if we don't have to get the rare candy combo in order to rely on our deck so let's go into a game now and see there. Uh, I'm, I mentioned this in my stream before, but I went Comic-Con the other day and I got some pretty cool stuff. So I got this shirt, um, which was, it was from a meme stores, which is kind of funny. I never thought I would see that at the con. I was just walking along and I saw it and I was like, what? <laughs> and it had stuff like Alexa, this is sad, uh, Plague Despacito, just like there. And it had just a bunch of memes. It had Bombo, Bongo, Bombo, Bongo Cat. And it was, it was cool. But the thing is with memes, they don't, they don't last long. Modern memes don't really last long. Um, so I bought this one uh, in particular because that has a bit of ambiguity to it. It is a bit of a meme, you know, with that. But at the same time, like the meme can die out and this shirt would still be okay because this, the symbol alone is something outside of the meme as well. So I was like, yeah, buy that shirt. That's the best variant to get. I was going to get another one, um, but I decided not to do it because, again, it could just die out. I've also got this hat, which is a bullet bill hat, and I'm in love with it. Uh, it's an absolutely awesome hat, so I've got that there as well. I also did get a, a piece of artwork. I got a uh, Toga from My Hero Academia, one of the villains. Um, absolutely love Toga. Uh, I got Toga from there, which is cool as well. Really nice artwork. Um, right, so we're going to go for the Termon Fan Club um, because we want to get Beldums out. And we're going to Ultra Ball some stuff out here. And I might go with my original idea that I had last time of Ultra Balling away a Metagross. So if we hit a Rescue Stretch on a turn we have Rare Candy, then it just seems okay. Uh, right, the Diancy and the Dragon. That tells me we're playing Garchomp, so I don't know if they're playing Shrine of Punishment. So I need to be careful here in what I get rid of. I'm thinking of dropping the Lele. Um, because again, a Rescue Stretcher can really help with that. And we'll just get, I think, a third Metang. Uh, so, sorry, a third Beldum. That seems right. Um, or do we get... An Ultra Necrozma. No, no, no. Considering we've, we've, we've again started with Stack Attacker, which is just like one of the worst ones to start with. Um, we want we, we want to make sure we get our Metagrosses out. So at least Stack Attacker can do something. Um, with its high retreat cost is a bit of a pain. And we only play two switches. So attaching to the Diancy. Okay. Maybe they're preparing for a retreat. Um, or to be fair, all they would need is an escape board and they got retreat. Yeah, so we are playing Garchomp. Uh, need to be careful when we knock them out because Lance Prism Star is just lurking in this deck. <laughs> and, and Lance Prism Star is just so, so strong. Like, I think, uh, to be fair, it, it's, it is as strong as the uh, Dragon Pokemon that there are currently. And Garchomp seems to be one of the best ones or the more consistent. Yes, there's Dragonite as well. But Garchomp just seems to be the right, um, the right one to play Lance with. Okay, so... See, this is great. We have a Metang now, so we don't have to worry... Um, about rare candy Metagross for at least one of the Pokemon. I'm thinking, do I attach the Steel now um, to the Stack Attack, or do I bench? I think I'm going to bench the Ultra Necrozma and attach a, a Steel there. That's what I think I'm going to do. Um, I love the Secret Rare Energies. I would like, I would have a deck full of Secret Rare Energies, but they're about £20 each. <laughs> so if you're going for 10 that's £200. No, 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 thank you. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Even though I would love to have just a deck full of like Secret Rares and Full Arts, it just seems like, why? What's the point? Um, it, I, I think a ton of professional players think similarly. They're like, what's the point in going like all out or expensive on a deck that you're going to play so much and you're going to wither down eventually anyway? Right, so they've got a Garchomp already. Uh, thing is, our target really should be... We're just going to start... We're just going to go in watching a Crossman. We need to get these Riulus out because that's the real the real um, problem when facing a Garchomp is Riulu. Because 
As soon as they get a Lucario out, getting any card you want any turn without any sort of like setback is just too strong to ignore. I think Garchomp's in a good spot. The only problem with Garchomp is the two energy attachment issue, considering that you have to attach um, a DCE and a fighting energy. And if you're playing the likes of um, Sylveon or anything, even if you're playing a deck that plays Kartana, which we could even tech in here, it seems like you can just drop the DCE and be like, well, there we go. They played a Cynthia, right? So they're knocking us out, which is just so bad. <laughs> so bad. Uh, and hit 210. Oh, yeah, because that NC and Stack Attack is doing his thing. Right. Uh, so Lily seems okay. Um, let's just go for that. And hopefully we hit a Metagross. I mean, okay, we actually did get a Metagross, which seems pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the... It seems like the Fan Club and the Field Blower seems right. And we're going to go for Algorithm GX. Um, we just need to, you know, and I think we would actually rare candy this one because that's just something we can't miss We can't miss out on that kind of combo So yeah, we're gonna go for algorithm GX. We have the max potion in hand already, which is just really sweet So we don't have to worry too much um, About grabbing that with our algorithm, but we just need to figure out what we're gonna algorithm here quickly uh, We can actually use this to look at our deck before we do the algorithm. So I want to get um, Metagross rare candy Rescue Stretch, uh, Cynthia, and Steel. That's what I'm thinking. So let's let's try and go for the algorithm and see what we want here. Um, so Metagross, Rare Candy, Rescue Stretch, Cynthia, and Steel. That seems ideal because we can just go... Um, yeah, so we can evolve. Uh, we can Rare Candy... Uh, our second Metagross, Rescue Stretch for the other Metagross in a discard pile, drop it on the Metang. Um, we can Max Potion our Metagross in the hopes that they aren't knocked out. Ah, they're getting knocked out. Just because of that choice band, they are getting the knockout, I think. They're doing 250 on the dot, so that is just... Ah, it's irritating. Um, this Metagross is going down, which is unfortunate. So what we'd have to do is... <laughs> Attack with Stack Attacker, which seems super rough. Is it 50 damage for each prize you have taken, not your opponent? So we can't even knock the Garchomp out. I would... Uh, maybe I should have got an option of Crosma from that algorithm. And I should have predicted this. But, like, that is just on point. And this is why Garchomp is good. Uh, what do I promote? Uh, it's tough. I think we're going to... Oh, the thing is, we can't... We have to get a Field Blower now. Um, just to get rid of that Choice Band. But they can just Choice Band next... Like, again. Okay, so we're just going to get the Metagross out. Um, oh, they got, they got an Ultra Necrozma, except now we're kind of stuck. We can't retreat to it. And if we knock that out, they've got another Garchomp. But that Garchomp doesn't have the damage modification. No, they can... Ah, uh, this is tough. Oh, this is super tough. I think we just got to roll with the Metagross play here. Like, the reason why I'm not doing Ultra Necrozma is because this is just sitting there lurking. And all they need to do is hit 200 and they've won. Um, but we can't... The, th the thing is, the, 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 the Metagross play is we can't knock out that guy. We're going to bench this anyway because we already have Stack Attacker. And that's pretty much the same thing, right? Um, if they're going to knock out the, the Ultra Necrozma, they would... Knock out the stack attacker anyway. All right, so let's go for the rescue stretch here and get the other Metagross into play. Um, <laughs> we will attach because we can attack this turn. Although we are hitting 150. I completely forgot we are one-shotting. I'm so stupid. <laughs> we are actually one-shotting this uh, this Garchomp here with this, this current Metagross, which is just really nice. And we have a field blower, but right now I'm saving that because if they find another choice band... Um, that's scary. So we want to make sure that's that's the case. Now, do we have both our max potions still alive? We do, which is nice. All right, let's go for Giga Hammer here. Luckily, 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 we do have the the Steel and Psychic needed just to go for this attack. So that's fine. Um, and I think we just go in with the Giga Hammer and hope they don't have a Guzma play of sorts or anything down that line. And then the great thing is, is next turn we can just retreat manually and then just get Ultra Necrozma out, attach a Psychic, and then go for a 180 hit, um, which just seems real fun. Um, so we've got our Metagrosses out. We've pretty much got the, the, the A game here. We're going to, I think, if they're going in with this Buzzwall, um, then that's actually good news because we can retreat Cynthia, hopefully hit 
a um hopefully hit a max potion and then we can just right oh just hit my mic <laughs> we can we can heal up the metagross and then uh, go in with the ultra necrosma gx but at the same time i'm kind of concerned going in with the ultra necrosma just because it's like yes it's effectively 200 hp right now but that's exactly the number this card is looking to hit. If we, you know, put the Metagross in the active, then they have to find some other damage modification uh, in order to do what they want. So I think what we're going to do is actually go for this Metagross here through Manual Retreat. Um, that seems like the right thing to do. And I think we're retreating first because we want to get the energy in the discard pile. And I want to guarantee the attachment here this turn. So I want to make sure we, we don't screw up with our sequencing so we we go here we attach there we go um and i think i'm gonna field blower now just so i can thin so i'm guaranteeing myself that max potion because they've got guzma game next turn if we don't get that max potion so i'm gonna thin here um to be fair they pretty much got game if they've got guzma and energy anyway so it's not really that much of a difference but we got a cynthia um and just fingers crossed hit a max potion do we we don't Oof, just oof, <laughs> just full on oof. Um, and we just have to hope they don't have it. And the odds of them having it are really high because they have this bad boy. So we may have just uh, lost out a bit, a bit too soon here. Just to that guard jump. That one hit KO on my Metagross after Algorithm was a clutch play from my opponent. Like a full on clutch play. Because if they didn't get that knockout then we would have an extra metagross in play and they would be on full prizes rather than two and we would be in a much better state okay lucario gx i did not see that coming and i'm actually really happy about that because uh it looks like they're not getting the one shot like i would have rather gone for oh wait no they couldn't have one shot so we've got another turn here which is just great um I was thinking they could have promoted this and then found a way to get the one shot on this Metagross. Or I thought they would have at least had a Guzma. Because I think what they should have done... Have they played all their Guzmas? No. Are they playing Guzma? Or did they just misplay? I think they just misplayed. Because what they could have done is they had the fighting energy in hand. They could have just Guzmaed up one of these things. Fighting energy. Oh, wait, no. Because no Cynthia. Oh, yeah. They only do 200 damage to Cynthia, don't they? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Thinning. Thin our hand. We're going to thin our hand right down uh benching the mimikyu seems okay actually because we can fall like they taking one prize is not something they want to do and if they do take the one prize then we're like okay cool um attached to the mimikyu i think yeah attached to the mimikyu choice ban on the metagross and we're gonna go for a tate and liza and fingers crossed I'm not crossing my fingers. I don't know why I'm not crossing my fingers. That's how you cross your fingers. Fingers crossed, get max. We get a max potion. Hell yeah. Okay, so this is the tough part, though. Because we are going to knock out. They need two cards next turn if they're going to win. Um, hmm. I can't attack with this Metagross because his HP is too low. It's just not great. Um, I could attack with the Mimikyu, though. Oh, I could, you know. <gasps> the Mimikyu seems right because... Oh, wait. No, no, no. We're going to do, like, no damage. There's Aura Strike, and this only does a 90 view evolve from Ryulu, so we would do, what, Choice Band 60, 120? That's just bad. That's just bad. Okay, we've got to go for the Ultra Necrozma um, because we can only Max Potion 1 Metagross. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Think, Sean, think. Okay, no, no. We're going to go Ocean Cosmo. We need to one-shot this Lucario GX. I was thinking of promoting this Metagross, Max Potion in the active, and then going in. But um, 180 just is like, okay, they're just going to go for the, um, the, the the Cantankerous, which is just super sketch. So let's not do that, shall we? Uh, let's whip a choice band, I guess, on the Metagross. Like, why not? Um, and we can safety bench another non-GX, but I feel like benching one of these just doesn't seem right. I want to save the spot for Lele just in case. Um, right, we are getting a knockout. I don't think we're getting a knockout. <gasps> we're not getting a KO, everybody. <laughs> we're not getting a KO. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. It's that attachment to Mimikyu. It killed me, didn't it? <laughs> did I attach to Mimikyu this turn? If I did, I just screwed myself. I can't. I can't do anything. All right, we're going to pass. 
But like, we're not going to play into their Cantankerous. That is just a bad play. Like, next turn, if they don't have Guzma, which I assume they do. Uh, choice band. Just, just roll with it. Yep. Yep. There we go. That's game over. <clears throat> That's game over. I misplayed. To be fair, I, it wouldn't have made a difference. They would have still Guzma played. So, fair play to my opponent. That was a fun game. I'll probably still take some more time fine-tuning this deck so we can uh, beat the likes of Garchomp. Would you like me to play a Garchomp deck? Um, if that's something you want to see, then let me know. I'd love to uh, make that. It does seem like a fun deck nonetheless with the likes of Lance Prism Star and stuff like that. Even though we didn't see it played here, it still prevailed. So you never know. Um, anyway, other than that, do leave a like if you did enjoy. Let me go ahead and show you the list so you can make it yourself if you want to. Um, any suggestions that you would have for this list to make it more consistent, I would love to to hear your thoughts. Um, but yeah, so that's the list there. Do subscribe for more content. And of course, I'll see you tomorrow.